You made it. Come on in. Hello, I'm Tayari Jones, and I'm the author of An American Marriage. For me, I know that I have a novel when I have two characters who both have a point. In short, An American Marriage is the story of a couple, newlyweds. They've only been married 18 months. As she says, I was still combing the rice from my hair. She says, my father was still writing the checks to pay for the wedding. And her husband, Roy, is arrested for a crime he does not commit and given a lengthy sentence. His sentence is more than 10 times the amount of time they've been together as husband and wife. And the question is, will their relationship survive? And notice, I say their relationship, not their marriage. Will their relationship survive? And that is the foundation of this novel. An American Marriage is my fourth novel, and it took me six years to write it. But this time I wanted to try and write on a bigger canvas and engage like an oppressing issue of our day. And I wanted to write something about mass incarceration. So I did all this research. I learned so much about what is wrong with the criminal justice system. However, all that information didn't give me a story. The way I found the story was from overhearing two strangers in the mall. The woman in the mall was beautifully dressed and she was with a man who, he looked fine, but he wasn't as beautifully put together as she was. But they were clearly in love and in trouble. And she said to him, Roy, you know you wouldn't have waited on me for seven years. And he said, I don't know what you're talking about. This wouldn't have happened to you in the first place. But he was right. This likely would not have happened to her. So they were at an impasse. She was saying that she wanted reciprocity and he was saying that that's kind of a moot point. I was born and raised in Atlanta, Georgia. All my novels are set in Atlanta, my hometown, even though I now live in Brooklyn. I always return home when it's time to write. And I think it is because imagination is your heart and home is your heart. When I was a child, I loved to read and I especially loved to read books by Judy Bloom. Are You There God is Me Margaret was my absolute favorite. And when I look back on it now, I see that Judy Bloom is such a great writer that she could make New Jersey seem like an exotic place. But it really wasn't until I went to college, when I went to Spelman College, that I realized that I could be a writer. And it was because when I was at Spelman, I met a writer. She was my teacher. Her name is Pearl Clegg. And she took me by the hand and she showed me what it would be like to be a writer. She showed me the author's life. And more importantly, she instilled upon me an understanding that as a writer, your work is to tell true, honest stories. And that's how I, st I started writing. There were moments when I didn't think that I was going to be able to finish this novel. The plot is kind of complicated, and I worried that I could not solve my character's problems. But finally, I realized that it's not my job to solve the problem. My job is to just to shine some light on the problem and maybe offer some suggestions as to how a problem could be solved. And once I took that pressure off myself, I was able to sit back down at my typewriter and just write the book. An American Marriage by Tiyari Jones. I love this title because the novel redefines the traditional American love story. It's really a love triangle and places it inside a world that a lot of people don't know about, but impacts all of us in really big ways. You'll see what I mean. And I think you'll come away with greater empathy and understanding, but even if you don't, it's just a great read. It is the perfect book to read along with a friend or a family member. You're gonna wanna have somebody else reading it because it's so juicy. Every chapter you're wondering, will they or won't they? And how's this gonna end? You wanna talk about it with somebody. I'm telling you, it's one of those books I could not put down. And as soon as I did, I called up the author. I was like, hey, and it was Oprah coming through my car stereo. And I live in Las Vegas and I, I pulled over. I pulled over, I had to get, I couldn't continue to drive. And I pulled over on a dark road and it was Oprah Winfrey talking to me. And I'm trying to talk to her and people are like tapping on my window, asking me, do I have a quarter, do I have a dollar? And I'm shooing them away and I'm trying to talk to Oprah. But it was the most exciting thing that's ever happened to me in my life.
But what people don't know about me is that I love old school communication. And I also prefer to write my books on typewriters rather than the computer. The typewriter forces me to slow down and think about each word. And also, I like making all that noise and it's so satisfying at the end of every line to get that little bell at the end of the line and I slap it back. But that little bell is so encouraging. One of the things that I do when I'm writing to kind of get out of my head is that I started taking salsa classes. And when I'm dancing salsa and taking the lessons, I have to concentrate on what I'm doing. I'm not allowed to obsess about my characters. I'm not allowed to worry about my editor or what's gonna happen next. When you're dancing, you have to be in the moment or else you're gonna step on somebody's feet. And so we're a group, about 20 of us, that have been in the class ever since we were beginners. I, you know, I've started going once a week, then twice a week, then I started going to the salsa socials, and I see all the same people. And I like to think that we're all very close and we know each other, but there's one thing I've kept back from them. None of them know that I'm a writer. They just know that I'm Tiari and I'm from Atlanta and I like to dance. And it's nice sometimes to just be, just be me in the moment. I think probably the best writing advice I ever got wasn't even writing advice, but it was some, it was a lesson from my typewriter doctor. But I showed up with my typewriter and his store was filled with typewriters from the bottom to the top. And he says, well, what are you gonna do with this machine? I said, oh, I'm a writer. And he said, oh, do you know what writers use? An IBM Selectric, which is a typewriter from the 80s. But what I loved about him is that in his mind, typewriters are what people use to write on. He's not thinking about computers. You know, as a writer, there's all this talk saying, oh, the novel is dead, people don't write anymore, and people don't read anymore. Well, if anyone has the right to feel that their profession is being you know, made obsolete, it's a typewriter doctor. And he's living each day fixing typewriters and finding the joy in the moment. He's not worried if people in the future are gonna type. He just knows that right now, there are people who have typewriters that need fixing. And so I think of him often as I push forward with my work. And since I work on a typewriter, I think about him every day. A lot of times people wanna know what I'm gonna do next or what I want to do next. But I like not to think about what's next and just be in the now. I don't wanna live with one foot in tomorrow because so many exciting things are happening in my life right now, today. I'm so grateful to publish An American Marriage because there were moments when I didn't think that I was going to be able to find the end of the story. And I just wanna take some time and just enjoy my accomplishment. I used to be a busy bee, always on to the next, always on to the next. And I would look back in my journal and read about my experiences and realize I couldn't even remember them because I had just blown through them so fast. So now when people say what's next, I'll say, we'll know it when we see it. If there's one thing I want people to take away from an American marriage is to understand that life goes on and love goes on and there is always a way forward. Bye, thanks for coming by, it was a lot of fun. Looking for a good book? Then check out The Tea for discussions, opinions, recommendations, and more.